Season 3, Episode 4 of That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime is going to divide the fandom. Now, how spicy that conversation gets? Probably not that spicy. But I had a feeling after finishing this episode, which I very much enjoyed because I've always enjoyed the meeting side, the political side, the farming side, the slice of life side of slime since, well, the beginning because that's how the show started and just started into big crazy deaths in action. There was a bit of that in season one, but season one was mostly a slice of life. It really was. It was the building of Tempest. And I had a feeling after finishing this episode, which was basically a big meeting, and we're going to have lots of that. You don't, a, a good isekai that had as much political backstabbing and craziness as season two had, there's no reason for Slime to just jump into the next big thing. There's a lot of political backstabbing, things happening behind the scenes. Eventually things are going to pop off again, but it's going to take a couple months, a month, a few weeks, who knows how long, but it will take that time. But it does feel like with as large as Slime has become with its fan base, there's two sides of the Slime fan base. There's one side that likes the general package of Slime, which is, oh, here's the meetings, here's the strategy, here's the slice of life, here's the big, oh, claim and death, you know, all these crazy things, but that's not all you're expecting. And then it feels like there's another side of the fandom that it's like when it's boring or slow, uh, it's pointless, it's filler. I think it's perfectly fine to have an opinion that the episode's boring to you, but I think anyone who willingly skips through a fucking episode like this and then complains that either things don't make sense down the line, or the it's like you can't watch a show like Slime and say you're only there for the action. I really think you can't because most of the time Slime isn't these crazy moments. It's the building of Tempest. And as someone who loves that side of Slime, this episode felt rewarding. Watching the group collectively come to the realization about how those four sequences over season two weren't some general mastermind, but a series of events that different groups and people for different reason took advantage of. The Hanada stuff, everything like that, was fantastic. The beginning of this episode with the whole like magic generator in terms of like how they can keep a spell going, the idea of the wanting them to have it across the, the road and how like guards would be able to patrol, make sure it's always active, and the barrier can continuously stay active without needing Rimuru or someone like that. All that stuff is what makes Slime great to me, and I think it's fine if people don't like these episodes, but the fact that, you know, we're 52 episodes, or in that area, the low 50s anyway, total, of this many episodes into Slime, and people still Pikachu face that Slime has meetings, I don't know what to tell you. Like, at that point, I think it's just Slime isn't for you, but maybe I'm the crazy one. I loved it though, but full live reaction over on my Patreon if you want to see my full and thoughts to this wonderful episode in my opinion, it's over there if you're interested. So, this was my favorite episode of the season. Really was. I It rewarded you. It just felt like, rather than it being a boring thing where like you're in the most bland location, the most bland personalities, Tempest is fantastic because you can casually have Rimuru threaten to beat Gabba's ass and telling him that daddy says you're coming to detention room after this meeting's over, as we can simultaneously talk about all the craziness and where we think things are going. The idea that very much Rimuru comes to the quick realization, well, not really quick, but I guess quick in the context of this episode, but in terms of when it happened to now, it actually took him a bit to realize. The idea that Hinata and, you know, the attack towards him wasn't something that was ordered because no one can order her to attack, right? Like, that has to be of her own free will. So then they start realizing, okay, then whoever this he is, then we don't have to worry about retaliation, which then leads to the big topic of how each of them had different reasons. Like, okay, army destroyed. This was attacked. This, this, this. And it's like, okay, this all makes sense on how everything was coordinated as the attack on Tempest which was season two story arc, and now they have a lot more preparation to go with in terms of just breaking it down, because Rimuru has a lot more on his plate now. Now that he's a demon lord, he has a lot more land, a lot more shit to protect him. In general, he's not really struggling right now. We have everything set up for Yom to eventually become king. Obviously, the new king, as he took over for his brother, isn't a complete fool. He's taking his time regrouping his forces. You know, he's not just being a complete idiot. I mean, it's so stupid, but at least he's not someone who's just immediately pulling a gun on Rimuru and said, Haha, now I have power, because he would just get killed right away. Yom is obviously going to end up on the throne. He's learning his etiquette, which apparently is hilariously perfect that he's struggling with that. And just the idea that, you know, everything about this, 
This is why I love Slime Diaries and why I loved last week's episode, which felt like an episode of Slime Diaries. Slime Diaries was great because at the core, the thing that hooked me in initially for the first 12 or so episodes of season one was the slice of life aspect of Slime. There was some action, sure, but it's not like, oh, when, you know, we didn't see characters kick ass or titties in our face, it was a boring show. It's like, no, it was really cool because in a weird way, Slime started off as a farming simulator and then it became like Civ. Like, that's where we ended up going. We started off playing a farming simulator, and then it became Civ, Civilization. And it's fantastic, because everything that Rimuru has accomplished and how large Tempest has grown, the idea that him, I, I don't know if it was season two, I think it was, when he talked about, like, the record player, the fact that a simple moment like that resurfaced in this week's episode, where they've literally basically made a magical record player where they can add in the engravings and pretty much make any spell they want, and... The idea of having, like, by itself is not the craziest thing, but having it almost instead of street lamps, just different tiles in the road. Your guards can, when they're doing their patrols, make sure everything's active, and in theory, even though it can only do 10% in terms of what it's able to accomplish, that 10% would be enough to keep the barrier active, which would then, in return, keep them safe. Now, things aren't going to stay peaceful forever, and even though Rimuru knows exactly what's going on on certain elements, things will happen. Bad things will happen, he's not perfect, and never will be. Rimuru is not a perfect leader by any stretch, but Rimuru is a very accomplished leader, and Tempest is growing at an alarming pace if you're not on their good side. And that's going to cause for a lot of fun stuff. But I don't expect that next episode, something big's going to pop off. If it does, I'll be shocked and surprised and say, oh, I didn't see that coming. But it's weird to me to get... Like, season two was a bit different because I think you could argue that season one, okay, well, there was a lot of this and maybe they weren't a big fan. It's like, okay, maybe you could chalk season one up to it kind of like every other minute you can get a different type of slime. But season two, while it did have its insanity, like there was, I don't know, like I feel like we should know what to expect from this show. And it's just weird that these episodes are being called slow when these types of episodes have always existed in slime. Maybe I'm the weird one, man. I don't know, because like I can only really go off my own comment section and my comment section generally seems to enjoy, I mean, based on last week, every one was like yeah like slime diaries was great it's a shame we don't have more of that but at least this episode kind of getting back into and honestly last week kind of like reinforced and, and kind of made certain things from slime diaries and make sure it feels canon so it was great and then i load up a reddit which is always a mistake mind you loading up a reddit thread but it is a good I representation of the initial impressions um because you can't use the crunch roll comments they're always bitching about the dumbest things and it's just like we're arguing about skimming the episode or it's boring and pointless, and we, and we, I saw one person call it filler. How could an episode that was as important for their meeting and understanding of what happened with the insanity of season two, while progressing Tempest as much as they did here, while just having some charming interactions, Rimuru saying, uh, Shion, shit, I forgot to give you a job, uh, you can come with me and make her feel so important, and Nagabada, I'm gonna beat your ass after class. It was fun. Didn't feel like a 20 minute episode. I mean, the when I looked over at the timer initially, when we were like 13 minutes into this episode, I was like, damn, like this episode's flying by for just being a meeting. I do recognize I like meeting focus episodes more than the average fan, but it's like, it's not like this is the first time we're watching slime. This isn't episode four of slime. This is episode 50 something. So it's like, I don't know. It's, it's weird that we're still getting divided at this point. Am, am I the weird one? Like, I don't feel like I should be with how slime has shown us what it's capable of. It will be a slice of life. It can be a comedy sometimes, it can be a drama, it can be an action, it can be a lot of different types of things, and just seeing moments, like, how could you look at an episode like this, where my boy is sitting there with the the drawing that Rimuru gave him of like, hey, this is gonna be Milam's castle, I'm, I'm tasking you with this, and my boy feels like he's too pathetic for it, he's like, I don't think I can accomplish this, I don't think I'm good enough, and Rimuru's like, don't, don't worry my boy. It's all experience nonetheless. That's a freaking great character moment, but I digress. Let me know what you thought down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new around here. Of course, ring that bell so you know if I went up low more. And like I mentioned, we got those full live reactions over on my Patreon. And hey, while you're over there, I'll also give you a video shout out. All right, so today we got Dylan Miles, Jornis Pierre, Stephen Thomas, Danny0119, Marion James E. Posada, and we also have Brian. So I appreciate the support, everyone. Please take care and have a good one.